So now we would like to ask uh, Mr. Michał Morelewski from the Lower Silesia Center of uh, Microorganisms in Długowęka. Uh, to give uh, the presentation on the experiences with the application of uh, ProBioMS, uh, Apipharma and Apibiopharma in uh, apiaries. So some honey. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in order to explain uh, the role of uh, probiotic technologies in any ecosystem, uh, seems to me similar <laughs> to the slogan uh, issued by one of the touristic agencies inviting to visit 14 countries within three days. So let me tell you a few experiences of mine uh, on the use of probiotic <laughs> in apiaries. Um, the meaning of bees for the economy, uh, it's not just a honey production, and you know it quite well. Uh, it's a, a regular income, uh, which is um, counted uh, in billions, euro billions uh, dollars, and we cannot be <coughs> uni, uh, uni uh, equivocal in, in counting it. However, maybe we will be able to have a chance to count the losses, and the losses will be much bigger, so let's not um, neglect it, because we know, as people related to agriculture, that the intensive turnover uh, can uh, make about uh, the third uh, of, of plants to grow. And uh, on the other hand, we know that uh, it is a kind of hobby that uh, a lot of people are devoted to. The use of probiotics in uh, beekeeping uh, is uh, undoubted. And the successes of these pr uh, formulations in uh, animal husbandry shows that uh, any living organism, any living system is uh, microbial dependent, uh, inclusive of uh, pro probiotics in any ecosystems. And uh, we know for sure that they uh, increase the immune uh, capacity of uh, both humans and animals. So in case of bees, the probiotics can also also find their use and all the insects all the animals would take advantage of uh, probiotics in a way um, um, acceptable for um, uh, biological and technical uh, limitation of uh, population number and to um, evoke some uh, mechanisms and the most natural solution is to use uh, the antibiosis and uh, uh, co um, competition in uh, the gut. So it is the activity of uh, prevention, of preventive nature. Uh, apart from uh, better um, uh, usage of nutrients, uh, they help to produce the enzymes, and without the um, beneficial flora, it is impossible to uh, produce such enzymes. The experiences with uh, these preparations are not something new, and the experiences has been lasting for 18 years. And we show that such probiotics as Trilac, based on lactic acids, uh, were tested many times, showing that uh, lactic acid fermentation has a pr positive effect on immune and um, on the immune system and on uh, gastrointestinal system. Uh, the preparations used in these experiments uh, are named Apipharma and Apibiopharma. And uh, <sighs> They are based on SCD probiotic original strains, and they uh, differ in a manner that uh, Apibiopharma has also the content of nine uh, herbal extracts. Uh, 
And after many years, they were um, registered by the Lower Silesian Center of Microorganisms under the names of Apipharma and Apibiopharma, and they were allowed to be used by beekeepers. And the uh, herbs I mentioned were tested for many years, for hundreds of years, by beekeepers, showing their strong activity, antifungal activity, and uh, inhibiting the growth of pathogens. The use of these preparations is quite simple and can be uh, they can be sprayed. I mean, the beehives, the frames can be sprayed. They can be also added to the syrups. They can be added to drinking water in order to reach to the inside of the animal's system. And the results show that the limitations are quite low. Generally, the use of these formulations is not difficult. Um, uh, the preparation cannot be exposed to the UV radiation. Um, the bottle cannot be shaken uh, as it can uh, shorten the time of its activity. And uh, the entire team, uh, under the guidance of uh, Magister Van der Hoek and Magister Łukasz Zielony, uh, the whole team uh, worked uh, in order to um, explain its meaning, and they were uh, even um, awarded for their excellence achievements in uh, the technique. And using the opportunity that there is a person with us, the person who explained this biological uh, processes, I mean, Mr. Zdzisław Zieniewicz, uh, who worked in uh, Wrocław uh, Technical University. I would like to ask him to share these experiences so that you can hear it um, from the first hand. Dear presiding committee, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a practical beekeeper, although amateur, and I've been dealing with this for 30 years. Uh, I've got a chemical educational background, however, uh, I am very fond of uh, my bees, and I would like to tell you something about my use of these preparations. We started these experiments and some, something like three years ago, and uh, what I want to tell you is what uh, the, these preparations uh, have impact on. Bee families are a little bit different from other families. Uh, because uh, the decisions about the bee family uh, is this, its whole history is shaped by one single bee. Uh, she decides which plants they would um, use this time. And uh, when having an ap apiary, it's hard to uh, make all the bee families homogeneous. So the beekeepers, when having different um, content and the uh, families uh, can be uh, can respond differently to the same preparation uh, it is certain that these uh, probiotics uh, affect the water which remains fresh for a longer period of time Especially if we go uh, far from home, we do not need to um, change water frequently. Second thing, which I'm certain about, is that uh, adding the probiotic to water is better for bees than the uncontrolled water, uh, for example, in wastewater. It's due to the content of uh, herbal uh, extracts with uh, phenol of thalanes. And they have a bacteriocide, uh, bactericidal activity. Therefore, this water is preferred by bees as well. And this is one plus that can be used by the uh, beekeepers in their apiaries. Uh, if you want to ask me about some numbers that can be obtained due to the probiotic technology use, we want to determine that. We want to show physically, numerically, uh, how the efficiency increases as a result of uh, probiotics and whether or not the energy consumption was different. 
still we have to wait for the results of this research uh, because uh, three years is too little and the variability of uh, apiaries and bee families cannot help us to come to uh, these conclusions too fast. And coming back to the topic of uh, bees, uh, Polish economy uh, loses uh, 3 billion to 100 million zloty per year because we have too few bees. This is the data from the Ministry of Ag Agriculture from uh, several years ago. And let me say it short. Uh, the drugs are not effective and uh, the drugs can also be harmful. Next thing, uh, the use of organic acids understood as ecological, as green, uh, harm uh, the bees. Uh, they get burned. They have some wounds uh, which uh, are the entry gate for the pathogens. So the probiotics might potentially affect wound healing in bees, maybe. We need still a lot of time to determine it. So I hope I was telegraphic enough to explain this practical side of uh, my research. And uh, I hope that my colleagues who uh, use the probiotics uh, can help me to determine the regular methodology for conducting of uh, such uh, experiments. We are still at your disposal. Let me just show you the final slide with our contact details. No, I'm sorry, it doesn't seem to work, but sorry to speak so fast, uh, but I was able, I, I hope you were able to.